Deb from Aussie Mail, how are we all tonight? I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to our live chain mail demonstration this evening. Um, how's everybody going? We're good? Yeah. We're good? Beautiful. All right, I was a bit worried there because we did lose our internet minutes before we went live, so hopefully it stays good. Hey, you Susie, how are you? Oh dear. Yeah, not good news about Kim. I hope you stay safe, Kim. Hey, Rodney and Di and Leanne. Hey, Janine. Glad to hear it's all good, darling. Hey, Kim. I hope you um, I hope you don't have to go, Kim. I hope everything's safe there. I know it's frightening when that happens. Just follow the plan. Just follow the plan. That's right. My plan is just get the hell out of there. That's basically my plan. Hey, Anthea, uh, Megan. I'm not Flossie. That's my that's my daughter, actually. <laughs> Kira's Flossie Dossie. Mm -hmm. Poppy calls her Flossie Dossie. Hey, Rosalind. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you. Terry, good to see you. Hey, Brett. How you keeping, mate? Oh, how you keep Brett keep? Oh, that's a pun, isn't it? Didn't mean that. Wasn't expecting my beautiful live face. Yeah, no, we're live for the rest. That other one was just a test. Ten years since the last one. It's was it's been about four or five years, four I five. think, since we had to um, vacate this place. Hey, Phyllis, Jenny, Annette. Hey, Shirley. Ace, you're here. Good to see you. All right, lovelies. Well, we might do what we've come here for and make a start on um, everybody's, oh, on everybody, sorry, on the weave tonight. Hey, Brizzy. All right, so the weave tonight is Grizzly Persian or Full Persian 6-in-1 Grizzly, I think is the actual name on um, Mail Artisans. But I've just called it Grizzly Persian because it's nicer and shorter and that's what us Aussies do. Okay, so I'm just going to swap this over to um, the next camera. Uh, next camera. Why do I keep saying the next camera? Over to the other camera. I'm not doing so well today. It's a good start. It's, it's not so good. And we'll get started on this. Okay. All right. Now, I've only got a couple of sample pieces to show you tonight. Um, I did have a little difficulty getting ring sizes to work that I liked. Um, although this is a full Persian, it does sit a little differently than um, your normal full Persian. I don't know whether it's a quality of the, the weave itself. It, it just doesn't feel as slinky and cohesive to me. But we're here to learn about new weaves, so we'll give it a go. All right, so I've got two sizes here. The first one is in 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID I chose for this one is eight millimeters, okay? And then the other one I have is 18 gauge AWG, which is one millimeter diameter wire. And the ring size for this one is 6.5 millimeters. Now I'm actually going to demonstrate this in 14 gauge tonight, but I didn't list 14 gauge size because although the size I have is good for short pieces, it, I, I didn't rock my world for the long pieces. So. Um, I didn't end up putting it down. I need a little bit more work on the size for the rings. Um, so I just also want to show you the little grizzly flowers. Now I won't be demonstrating how to do these tonight. The people that were part of the mail club got uh, some rings, enough to make about four of these in the 16 gauge version. Okay, um, and so we've got 18 gauge, 16 gauge, 14 gauge. All right, well, we'll make a move and hopefully Kim stays safe. Keep I it think uh, Brett's also amongst it. Brett's amongst it as well. Yeah, I think a different buyer there. Oh, Brett. Isn't Brett? Oh, okay. That is not good, guys. 
Okay, so to start this up, we just want to make a short chain of two, two with our rings. So just put that together however you like. Okay, so as I said, this I'm demonstrating this in 14 gauge, which is 1.6 millimeter wire, with a ring ID of 10. Um, I'd like to try it with a slightly bigger ring ID and see how it goes, but for a short demonstration piece, um, it will work. It was also the size that I used to make, where is it gone? To make the flower with. So it worked beautifully for the flower. I just I just didn't like the way it sat for the bracelet. Alright, so once you've made your short chain, pop on your twist tie on one end. And then just like we're um, doing Byzantine, flop that end pair of rings either side. Yes, Anthea, it works for the flower, but um, it worked for the bracelet. I just I wasn't in love with it. I mean, you may do it and be happy with it. I just wasn't 100% happy with it, and I didn't get the time to test um, any other sizes. Uh, the next size up that I have is just the 10.5, so that would be where I would go next. But as I was saying, we flip those end rings all the way back, so just like we're doing Byzantine to start with. Okay, fold it all the way back and just hold them in place. Then taking another opened ring. Okay, we wanna go and pick up those rings that we just folded back, okay? So with normal Persian, we would go and pick up those rings on the inside. This time we're gonna pick them up on the outside. So, just like that there. Now it's a bit unstable to start with, so just you know be careful with your rings. So we put one on one side, and then we put one here on the other side. Okay. We'll close that up. Our work should look like this. So as I said, it's not particularly stable to start with. It's a little messy, but um, it'll start working better in a minute. So holding those rings up like that, we now want to pick up those two rings that we just added. Whoops, don't let it flip up like that. That makes it look like Byzantine. We don't want it to look like Byzantine. We want it to stay down there, okay? And then what we wanna do is we wanna rotate our work and our rings so that we're able to continue to feed that ring down through the middle pair in the section below, okay? Take it through those two rings and close it up. Okay, so it just looks like this. So for those that follow how I make full Persian, it's the same sort of maneuver that I do to make full Persian. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're going to pick up those two top rings. Okay, and then we're going to make it so that we can bring our ring down and pick up the middle ring in the section below. Okay, close that up. And where's my stubby? Okay, should have something that looks like this. So again, it's still not looking great, but that's where we're at at this stage. Okay, and then we wanna take up another open ring And like we did at the beginning, we want to pick up this time, not this top pair of rings, but the next pair of rings. So the second from the end, and we pick up one on each side of our weave. Okay. 
So one up there on that side. And then we do the same on the other side. Pick up that second pair of rings. Okay, and you can see the pattern now is starting to form a little clearer. You can see we've got that pattern. So the thing that I want to show you, and I forgot to mention at the beginning, with uh, full Persian, you can see that these Vs, on this side the Vs are pointing up, on this side the Vs are pointing down. So they, they alternate the, the way that the Vs point. In Grizzly, the Vs point the same way all around. So in this case, you can see we've got the V pointing down, and this one, this side, the V is pointing down. So that's the main difference with the look in Grizzly. So what this means is that the weave is only bendable in one direction. So you can see we can't really bend it that way, but it will bend this way. Okay. So once you've got those two rings that you put through the side there, we're now going to take up another open ring and this time we're going to feed it through the two rings that are poking out the most. Okay, And this is where we bring our work around a little bit and we feed our ring through the centre rings in the bottom in the, the next section down. Okay, so there we go, and we do the same on the other side. Okay, go through those two top rings, bring it down so that you bring go through the middle rings in the section directly underneath, and we close it up. So that's it guys, it's just those same two manoeuvres all the way along. I do find this weave takes slightly more concentration on my behalf than say the um, full Persian takes. Definitely got to stop and have a look at where I'm up to to place the next rings. So is that clear with everybody? Are they understanding what I'm doing? You're getting a lot of love at the moment. Am I? Oh, Tanya's here. Hey, Tanya, love. How are you? I'm glad you made it. I know she's been trying to see us and she just keeps missing us. Yep. All right, so that's where we've added the two rings on the side. And now we just pick up the two rings on top and we fold them down. Okay. So it's a little fiddly to start it. Um, the, the rings, because you're working with much larger rings than you would with full Persian, they can go a little haywire at the beginning. Um, but otherwise, it's a fairly easy weave to do. You just really need to remember that in full Persian we would normally put rings through here. With Grizzly we put these rings on the outside. I'm getting your rings to fit when I try to do a full Persian. Um, what ring sizes are you trying to do it in? Maybe that's the problem. Island, Island Scorpio, is that what it is? Okay, but that's it. So I hope everybody is clear with that. So as I said, um, limited sizes that this works in. It's not particularly forgiving. Um, in this size, it, it just became too stiff. I mean, it, it works. I haven't tried 10.5 in the, in the 1.6 wire. Um, it should yeah it just didn't work the way I wanted to it's it's difficult to explain but it works beautifully with the flowers so if you want to use 10 point uh, 10 mils for the flowers um, that would be the way to go 
So 16 gauge a quarter inch, um, is that AWG or SWG? Because if it's um, AWG, it should work, not a problem. Meaning 1.6? Meaning 1.2. If it's 16 gauge AWG or 1.2 millimeter diameter wire, it will work. If it's SWG, which is 1.6 di diameter wire, it won't work. It is AWG, then it should be working perfectly. I have made a ton of um, full Persian in that size. In fact, it's a little, it's a little big. Yeah, the 14 gauge is very chunky for a bracelet, Janine. Um, personally, I wouldn't wear it, but um, tight. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a. Um, you're not quite doing the weave correctly, Ireland. I'm not sure because it should fit and it should fit quite easily. Because uh, I actually like to do it in a slightly smaller ring size than that. Roslyn, honey, you have the instructions on how to join it to make the circle as part of the mail club. So we sent out the tutorials today. They were a little bit late. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we ended up having a games night with our kids last night, so we didn't get them out. <laughs> <laughs> but you will have the instructions there. I won't be showing you how to do that tonight. Um, I will though be showing you um, as part of a project video in a few months how to, to do the circles. Alright, so is everybody happy with that? Can I leave that demonstration now or would you like me to continue? I think everybody's pretty much got it. It's not difficult. It's just those first couple of weaves. Um, and because I'm so used to doing full Persian, I have to stop and think about what it is that I'm doing. Everyone's happy? Beautiful. All right. Take it off my hands then. Excellent. All right. Awesome, Emma. I spy with my little eye a new design of ring track. Yes, it is actually. All right, let me give, let me take it back. <laughs> You're good, Julie. So as you guys know that were here last week, we were talking about the um, branding in the bottom of the tray and how much we didn't like that. So we've been trying a couple of things. We tried doing underneath, uh, which didn't work so well, um, but we've put some branding here on the inside, which we're happier with. So at this stage, I think this is what we're going to be running with. This color is uh, silk, midnight blue. midnight blue. So it's the same type of filament as the purple one that everybody loved last week, except it's in midnight blue. This is our sky blue. Sky blue. Yeah. Um, we made up some of these lids to go off to Ace because she suggests uh, she liked aquamarine and this was the closest we had. And we've also printed up this one which is done in what they call um, transparent. transparent. So this one's a transparent filament uh, with the red color. So we're, we're currently um, in the process of just printing all the filaments up and testing how they, um, how they go. Um, I don't know about the logos on the lid. Uh, it'd be okay. Uh, but you still got the surface. Yeah, they're not. They're not. We had before yeah. Oh, okay. Base, All right. So, so I don't I'm know if happy you, as they are. I think it's simpler for production. For the production yeah. purpose. I don't know if you heard that, Brizzy, but Chris was saying the the whole scratching thing still happens on this. That was happening on the base that we were unhappy with. I'm glad you like the lid cover, Ace. Um, we printed those ones for you, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that color. I'm. It's really quite pretty. Not as eye popping as the purple. Well, no, the purple is delish. There is no denying that. Uh, but we've got quite a lot of colours to print. Uh, we printed a yellow, not as a tray though. We've got a really bright yellow, which prints up really nice. Uh, we're happy with that. Looks orange on your PC. Um, yeah, it's a little bit. I it's see. it's a f it's an unusual colour because it's transparent. So. It's more of a, it's not a fire engine red, it's more of a pink red. Yeah, the transparency doesn't come out so well. Pretty well. 
you're not seeing it so well on the monitor. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're pretty cute. And you can see all the, the internal grid work and everything that's part of the printing on them. I don't know if you're catching that. We do, did we buy a plain red? I can't remember. We do have a plain red as well. So this is just, we bought one or two of various different types. We've also got a stainless steel one that we've got to try as well yet. So there we go. Look, salmon. Mm, it's not really salmon, not in real life. It's not as pink. It's darker than that. But yes, we'll be uh, once we finish start. Uh, once we finish start. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Words. Words are hard today. They're <laughs> really hard. Once we have finished testing all of the new filaments and making sure they all print beautifully, um, we will start listing these as pre-orders, and we'll just be showing you all the different color options and things that you guys can do. Get a good look at MailCon? Yes, absolutely. We will have them at MailCon for sure. The pressure. The pressure. <laughs> it's all about the pressure, baby. <laughs> all right. Uh, so while well, we've got you guys here, we've got a few things to discuss. So MailCon, we're um, still working with the teachers, um, but we've got all the submissions in place at the moment so we'll be refining what people are doing and hopefully we'll be able to let you guys know soon and uh, more pressure on Chris you can have the website done <laughs> well I've made some changes to the website people may notice some new vendors up there oh, okay apparently I haven't even looked <laughs> <laughs> apparently he's made some changes to the website I know he's taken out booking details and, and schedules and things from last year um, but that's there and then what else do we need to talk about babe mm. anything else apart from the other thing apart from the obvious mm. okay all right so those of you that are mail club members should have gotten an email today from us if all this information we're talking to you sounds new and you're a Mail Club member, go and check your inbox or your spam um, because there will be an email in there um, telling you all about what we're about to discuss. So it's actually been two years in, since fe in February when we first started these videos and come um, May, it's been two years since we launched Mail Club. So we're going to, we've decided that we're not going to continue running Mail Club in the manner that we've been running it. So we've taught you quite a lot of weaves over the last two years and it's getting to the stage where we're having difficulty finding new weaves, especially new weaves that we can put into jewellery. There's a lot of weaves out there that don't work so well with jewellery um, and we're just feeling that we're, we're getting quite limited in our choices and we don't want to run Mail Club into the ground because it's been such a good thing and uh, we want you guys to get value for money. So come um, April, April will be our last month that we will run Mail Club as it is now. So you guys know that we tested Premiere and things like that. So that was also to try and come up with a way of um, moving out of Malcon, a Malcon, Mal Club, and moving into something else. So we're not dropping our subscription service completely. This one is ending, and we're developing it into a new service. Now, the new service that we're providing will no longer teach you just straight weaves like we have with Mal Club. So Mal Club initially was started all about teaching you guys weaves bringing back weaves that perhaps had disappeared into obscurity um, that was my main aim when I started Mail Club uh, but now we want to now after two years of teaching you guys all new weaves um, we thought we would like to go the next step which was incorporating those weaves into design pieces so that's what we'll be doing now with Mail Club. So April will be the last month that we do our live streams in. We're going to have a break in May um, and then we'll be back in June running um, the new 
club and that will be when we start doing our videos um, in Premiere and everything. Okay, so that's the way it is at the moment. We feel this is the best thing for us to do. We hope that you guys are going to uh, be as excited as we are about taking um, your male skills further. This is not to say that we won't do the occasional video and put it up on YouTube that is about teaching a straight weave. So if there is a weave that you really want us to teach and we haven't done it yet, let us know because we're still doing the Chainmail basic videos every other week and um, there's no reason why we won't put up the occasional content that doesn't fall into the subscription service. So if there's something you want us to teach, teach us. Um, uh, t let us know and we'll get together and we'll do something for you. So what's happening, Anna? Um, you would have got a, an email. It it's sort of says it in the email, but basically we'll let the subscription run out. So um, once we've received your payment this month for next month, we will cancel your subscription service. And then when we're ready to get enrollments for the new subscription service, we will send emails out to uh, our club members, letting them, letting you guys know, and we'll also let everybody else know uh, when it's going to be. Okay, we're still finalising some final details because we're still developing some of our pieces and things like that. Because I'm going to start using um, more Swarovskis, more gemstones, things like that. So our prices are going to be similar, but you will only get two kits in that. So not four kits like you're currently getting. Um, it'll be two kits because these two kits are much more involved and have gemstones and, and Swarovskis and, and all sorts of other fun bits and pieces. All right, so I'm going to just, I've also got the sample pieces that I have I been say, working on. Show them the goods, babe. So some of you would have seen these two necklaces that were pinned to my dummy. So this is one of the ones that I'm looking at doing. None of these pieces are finished at the moment. These are just all um, test pieces at the moment. So as you can see, this is a big amethyst cabochon. And then we've got this little piece here that I've been working on. This one has a Swarovski Rivoli in it. And then I have, this one started its life as an earring design. Um, but once I started adding the gemstones, it got a little heavy. So I'm going to have to rethink this one. But this is the sort of work that I want to start putting out for you guys. So taking weaves that we've already learnt and applying them um, to something other than a straight piece of weave, basically. Okay? So I hope you guys really love that idea and um, run with the uh, subscription service when we have it. Mm -hmm. But that will be, we'll open the subscription, uh, you'll be able to apply for it or subscribe to it, I should say, in May. So you'll have all of May to subscribe and then um, once you've subscribed in May, you'll receive the first lot of kits in June. Now the first kit um, we're also launching at Mail Club, at uh, Malcon. Mm -hmm. So whatever the first kit ends up being, and I'm not 100% sure which one that is at this stage, um, we will be doing our worldwide launch through... Um, live on YouTube. Live on YouTube through um, on, on our MailCon on the Saturday. So that's Saturday the 8th, isn't it? The 8th of June. So, um, so we're, we're looking forward workshops. to that. So one of the workshops will be um, the, the kit. We'll do the tutorial itself as a premiere, as we have been, and then we'll go with a live session um, where you guys can watch all of us struggle at MailCon. <laughs> <laughs> And Margaret, if you're still here, darling, there won't be JPL in it, I promise. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> not, not for the first one. Okay, so that's just some of the design ideas and we'll be take, I'm taking off the next couple of months. I won't be producing any more project videos at this stage. 
um, I'm going to be using the time to design up lots of new kits for you guys. Okay. So I hope you guys like it and I hope you're not too disappointed that Mail Club is ending because it's not really ending. It's, it's ending. just morphing into something else. What about Dust and Grit? No, I don't use Dust and Grit. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about Dust and Grit either. Is Ace going? Yep. Oh, okay. Bye Ace, thanks for coming love. All right, I think that's it. No more 3 a.m. We're going to, we don't want to completely lose our live sessions, um, Lisa, so we're hoping we can still have some sort of chat thing going. And we're also hoping we can perhaps do something that's doesn't mean you have to wake up at 3 a.m. to see it. So we're, we're still, we're Looking still working it. some of those things out, but uh, the teaching live sessions will end. They'll just run like the premiere okay. one that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I think that's it. Does anyone have any more questions or anything that they would like me to answer? I think I've covered everything. First of eight launches, we'll get more details out as it gets closer. Yeah. Um, yep. You don't mind getting up at 3 a.m., Lisa? You're yeah. crazy, lovey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed you when I just find a can't. No, no, unfortunately, we just closed it down because we didn't want people to subscribe and then we ended it straight away, which is why we've kept it closed for the last couple of months. Um, we really didn't want to stop it. We just, we just wanted to, um, you know, expand it out. And I think this is a lovely step to take it. Would a morning stream work better for chats than people can go about their day after the stream? Possibly. Yep, we've been thinking about. So, because we're thinking a morning stream for us is going to be like an evening stream for the US um, and other parts of the world. So we just, I just don't know, it would have to be like a Saturday morning for us because everybody else has got their work thing. Um, you know, that work thing that gets in the way of fun. But I don't know, we'll see. Not mornings too many of us work. Even on a Saturday, lovey, or no. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's difficult. Get stuff done. Yeah, it's difficult. At the gym at eight a.m. Well, that's your fault, Ed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's been killing it. I know she has. I know she has. She's <laughs> doing so well. See you, Island. Thank you so much for joining. So we're going to try and work something out. We may not get it right the first time. We um still get tutorials emailed before the video. Um. So what's going to happen is the subscription ends, or the, the sign up for the subscription ends on the end of the month and then sometime in that first week uh, we will send out the packages. You may or may not get them before the first video but it really, because they're projects and the video isn't designed for you to weave along, um, we're not so concerned about you guys getting it in time as we had been with Mail Club, okay? So um, we will send them out sometime in the first week. <coughs> yeah. So odds are you'll get the PDF, but you may, depending on where you live in relation to us, you may not get the uh, kits. Um, so it's not so much will be a weave along? No, it's definitely not a weave along because it's projects. Um, I mean, you guys have probably seen our project videos on Tuesdays. They'll be the videos will run similar to that, where I just show you how to do the piece, tell you what needs to be done, and then fade off and I move on to the next thing. So they're not the sort of things that you can weave along to. They're not just straight pieces of weave, uh, which is why, as I said, we're not so concerned about you guys having the kits before the videos get released. So the videos will be fortnightly. 
Um, in most cases, it's the first and the second fortnight. Um, that may change with the ones that have got five Saturdays in them, but um, we'll work that out as we come along to them. What's wrong, Ben? Hope you're scratching the car. Oh, okay. All right. No, Anthea, it's definitely not a loss, darling. <laughs> so moving on to the next step. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, so I hope this, as I said, I hope this really works for everybody. And um, you all enjoy it. And I'm going to have a little bit more fun. Create some good pieces. Creating some, some um, designer pieces rather than just um, worrying about what we were going to learn. All right, beautifuls. Oh, I'm glad, Anna. I'm glad. I think it's a good thing. I really do. I wouldn't do it if I didn't think it was a good thing. I think it's a good move for the club and, and for everybody. Um, you know, we're very appreciative with you guys, especially the guys that have stuck with us from the very, very beginning. Um, and we hope that this has worked well. Yep, Emma, what's up, darling? Now I'm going to sit here yeah, while, the, like, while the uh, delay happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, Jenny. I'm glad you're excited. We are. We're pretty happy with it. We've been hashing this out for a while because we knew that Mail Club only had a set life and um, we did hope to take it a little bit longer than we currently are. The Orc Weave. Yes, that's one of the tutorials that we had problems with the streaming. So it's on my list of, so I've got a few of those. So I've got Orc Weave to do. I've also got to do the GSG necklace. So they're the sort of things that I'm going to do and just put up randomly on YouTube as we do them. So Orc Weave will definitely be one of those ones, honey. And um, I don't know whether you've noticed, but there was Orc Weave used in one of these necklace pieces as well. So we will definitely... I didn't you notice. didn't notice. Are you shocked? Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. But I will get that done for you, Megan. Um, Megan, sorry. Emma. Emma. Megan was just above us. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. All right. I'll do that. I'll do that one soon for you. It is on my list. I knew I had to do it. I just didn't want to do another project kit that was a, a reshoot so soon after the previous one. Yes, it's in the big one. Yep. All right, no worries. I will. I will get that done for you. I'll put that on my list. Come on, Chris, concentrate. <laughs> there are a lot smarter people out there than me. That's all I can say. Are we going to be told before the demo what weave to practice? Well, you'll know, Margaret, because you'll sign up. I'm sure you will. <laughs> In the PDFs. <laughs> um. So yes, it'll be all listed as, as Chris said in the PDF. So if you sign up and you get the PDFs first, you'll know. How's that for an answer? A lot of you will probably be able to recognize the weaves that I use anyway, to be honest. You'll have to read stuff. Yeah, sorry, love. <laughs> Making you do, do reading on the weekend, because I know you do enough in your life. Oh, sorry about that. My throat's getting a bit dry. Okie dokie. All right, so if everybody's good, we don't have any more questions. But if you have any questions, you know, send us emails or hit us up on Aussie Mailers, something like that. But we will be giving more information as we get a little bit closer and um, changing the website and things like that. <laughs> oh, good, Margaret. I hope so. I hate to think it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs a bit. All right, Rosalind, thanks for joining us, sweetheart. We'll see you next time. All right, we good, babe? Yep. We good? Covered everything. All right, guys, we might go and um, clean up in a new workspace and get on to trying this way. Brilliant. Sounds fun. All right, well, you guys all have a great night. I'm going to go off and have something to eat and uh, maybe relax a little, do some reading. 
and we'll, we'll catch you all next week. So next week is an established kit. I don't have anything picked, so if anybody has something that, that they would like to see us do that is already an established kit or tutorial, let me know. Otherwise, I'll let you know probably around Wednesday what, what I've picked. All right, beautiful peeps. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, Kim and Brett, stay safe, guys. I'm just typing that in. Is that <laughs> <laughs> we know how scary that is. And, um, yes, first-hand experience. And, yeah, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. All right, beautiful people. Mwah! Loves to you all. Bye.